Tukey's test, also known as the Tukey range test, Tukey method, Tukey's honest significance test, Tukey's HSD test, or the Tukey Euro Kramer method, is a single step multiple comparison procedure and statistical test. It can be used on raw data or in conjunction with an ANOVA to find means that are significantly different from each other. Named after John Tukey, it compares all possible pairs of means, and is based on a studentized range distribution. The Tukey HSD test should not be confused with the Tukey mean difference tests. Tukey's test compares the means of every treatment to the means of every other treatment. That is, it applies simultaneously to the set of all pairwise comparisons and identifies any difference between two means that is greater than the expected standard error. The confidence coefficient for the set, when all sample sizes are equal, is exactly 1 AAAI plus or minus. For unequal sample sizes, the confidence coefficient is greater than 1 AAAI plus or minus. In other words, the Tukey method is conservative when there are unequal sample sizes. Assumptions of Tukey's test, the observations being tested are independent within and among the groups. The groups associated with each mean in the test are normally distributed. There is equal within group variance across the groups associated with each mean in the test. The test statistic, Tukey's test is based on a formula very similar to that of the t-test. In fact, Tukey's test is essentially a t-test, except that it corrects for experiment-wise error rate. The formula for Tukey's test is where y is the larger of the two means being compared, yb is the smaller of the two means being compared, and se is the standard error of the data in question. This qs value can then be compared to a q value from the studentized range distribution. If the qs value is larger than the critical value obtained from the distribution, the two means are said to be significantly different. Since the null hypothesis for Tukey's test states that all means being compared are from the same population, the means should be normally distributed. This gives rise to the normality assumption of Tukey's test. The studentized range distribution, the Tukey method uses the studentized range distribution. Suppose that we take a sample of size n from each of k populations with the same normal distribution n, i one quarter, i florin and suppose that min is the smallest of these sample means and max is the largest of these sample means, and suppose s2 is the pooled sample variance from these samples. Then the following random variable has a studentized range distribution. This value of q is the basis of the critical value of q, based on three factors, i plus or minus, k, df where n is the total number of observations, the distribution of q has been tabulated and appears in many textbooks on statistics and online. In some tables the distribution of q has been tabulated without the factor. To understand which table it is we can compare the result for k equals to and compare it to the, the result of the student's t distribution with the same degrees of freedom and the same i plus or minus. In addition, R offers a cumulative distribution function and a quantile function for q. Confidence limits, the two key confidence limits for all pairwise comparisons with confidence coefficient of at least 1 AAAI plus or minus r. Notice that the point estimator and the estimated variance are the same as those for a single pairwise comparison. The only difference between the confidence limits for simultaneous comparisons and those for a single comparison is the multiple of the estimated standard deviation. Also note that the sample sizes must be equal when using the studentized range approach. Is the standard deviation of the entire design, not just that of the two groups being compared? It is possible to work with unequal sample sizes. In this case, one has to calculate the estimated standard deviation for each pairwise comparison as formalized by Clyde Kramer in 1956, so the procedure for unequal sample sizes is sometimes referred to as the Tukey Euro Kramer method, which is as follows. Where now i and now j are the sizes of groups i and j respectively. The degrees of freedom for the whole design is also applied. Advantages and disadvantages, when doing all pairwise comparisons, this method is considered the best available when confidence intervals are needed or sample sizes are not equal. 
when sample sizes are equal and confidence intervals are not needed Tuki a Euro unregistered trademark S test is slightly less powerful than the step down procedures, but if they are not available Tuki a Euro unregistered trademark S is the next best choice, and unless the number of groups is large, the loss in power will be slight. In the general case when many or all contrasts might be of interest, Schwa copyright S method tends to give narrower confidence limits and is therefore the preferred method. See also, mu Euro Eurocules method, post hoc analysis, for Miller-wise error rate, notes. Further reading, Douglas C. Montgomery Design and Analysis of Experiments, 8th edition, Wiley, section 3.5.7. External links, NIST Semitech e-handbook of statistical methods, Tukey's method.